Support us by subscribing, ring the notification bell, press all, and thumbs up. During the winter, everything is life critical. Without power, you're just camping, basically. Power really is the lifeblood of what we do here. If the power goes out, we, we have to depart. As the CE Operations Corps, I'm in charge of monitoring and overseeing the base maintenance contract. So I have 220 contractors that do all life sustainment utilities. So power, water, sewer, anything that if it stopped working here, you wouldn't be able to live here anymore. I am at the power plants a lot, especially uh, in the winter when it's negative 40 and the lights go out and we got to figure out what's going on and why because we only have a certain amount of time here before everything starts to freeze. And the second that happens, the clock starts. We are the prime source. There's no commercial power here. Our main plant on main base actually supplies for everything. And if uh, there's an issue with that, uh, if we start to drop power, there's a backup power plant uh, up the hill for mission. I am basically the go-between uh, the military and the contractors. But uh, these guys here are awesome. They're good at uh, notification. We've established a really good working relationship, so I can take what they're, what's going on with them and relay that to my leadership and have a solution. I'm pretty excited, actually. I'm not gonna lie. I can't wait to see this thing fire up. It's gonna be awesome. From this last Pacer Goose operation, we received a two megawatt containerized generator, uh, which is for backup purposes to the main uh, power plant. The containerized generator is really helping us to uh, make our power grid more resilient. Um, being able to survive uh, severe power outages, especially in the middle of winter. It's multifunction, really. So let's say we actually had a problem with two engines and then one needed maintenance, you can turn that one on and actually sync it in and keep your mission going as normal. On top of that, if we were to lose all the engines, it can energize the 69 kV section of this building, which would allow us to backfeed from the, uh, the backup power plant and for a short term, support the base. We do have a no-fail mission and the ability to have redundant, resilient systems uh, is really crucial to that. The mission goes on no matter what.